I couldn't. I literally would wake up every two hours. No. My alarm didn't even go off. I just, it was your call that woke me up. I kind of assuming that that's why I called you. Oh, uh, really? Yeah, I was like, should I let Vicky sleep in more? Now. <laughs> again with another matcha. I'm having a pretty good start to my day. It is the 1st of August and I'm going to wake up at 6 a.m. every day of this week if I can. So a while back, uh, Tiff and I have been kind of talking about how we've been feeling like a little bit of burnout, a little bit of like not loving how we don't have like consistency with our routines in our lives and kind of just hoping that this will give us like a more consistent work schedule work-life balance is always extremely hard i think it's like a pretty fun challenge especially to do with a friend i've only been awake for three hours now but i just started off my day cleaning doing some like chores around the house and it makes me feel really refreshed so now i'm just gonna get to some more art and Man, today's going to be a very packed day, but whew, I'm looking forward to it. a hot mess i think there's a lot going on but i'm kind of gonna go with it because i'm really feeling it stickers that I want to use. So many things from over the years. I got these two sketchbooks recently with Megan. I kind of heard that these are like moleskins but even better maybe and they're actually cheaper. They're around 11 to 12 dollars and this thick. I think this is thicker than moleskin. The only difference really is that maybe it's like a slightly thinner it's still acid-free paper and it has a very nice cream quality to it. It's very yellow in person, but I don't mind it. I love the colors of the books and I also love just like the size and 
the width of it all. So I'm very excited to start these. Hi, dumpling. both sketchbooks and I used a lot of TIFF stickers this time. This one is like the bunny book because after some time I just put a lot of bunnies on there. And then here's the back with the giant movement sticker. And then I have this one. I think I'm going to start this one today actually. Very sweet collection of fruits and drinks. I guess a very um, food oriented book. There's something just really nice about decorating a new sketchbook. I know I'm not gonna get to like both of these for some time because I still have my original sketchbook. Um, this is gonna be my main right now still. And as you can see, I love stickers on this one too. It's always tempting to just like have sketchbooks in rotation. So I'm gonna start this today. I do have some things I wanna like sketch out for ideas and stuff. I also just really like having different size sketchbooks to carry around, even though they're not too much of a difference. But sometimes you wanna be even more portable. So something like this size is not bad. Oh yeah, and I still have this one from New York, which is still super cute. And this feels more like a collage sketchbook more than anything. So I'm just going to come to terms with the fact that I will have many sketchbooks all at once and that is totally fine. in the morning because I kind of just leave it out all day and by the end when I'm like ready to wash my mug and all I just see like a thick layer of matcha just at the bottom so I'm just mostly drinking sugar milk and hints of matcha instead of like the actual matcha powder I've been not great about waking up at 6 a.m. but I did wake up at 7 it just did take me some time to like really fully wake up. I went to a friend's show last night, it was really fun, but I was out pretty late, so I only have around like four hours of sleep in my schedule, but still looking forward to a morning routine. Also, I got a pole. My friend didn't want their pole, so I bought it off of them. I take pole classes. I'm a total beginner, but it's really fun. <laughs> my apartment still looks like pretty empty in some areas, but now there's just a pole in the center and it's gonna be really fun.
Oh, Rainy is gonna join me while I work today. I'm already kind of failing at this new work schedule. I'm like pretty sleepy. I had a hard time waking up this morning, but it still feels really nice to be like up and about at like 7 a.m. But I also have to work on some ceramic things because I'm wrapping up my classes this week, which means I have to get everything glazed and fired soon. I went to the studio yesterday for my class and I dropped off a bunch of my little mugs. This is like my favorite little paintbrush cup that I made recently, so I made a few more of these to try to bring to the shop. I really love the glaze work on this and I use like wax resist to get these like little marks. And this time around I tried to do some like cute underglaze trees underneath this, so hopefully It'll kind of like all come together, but I dropped them off at the studio so they're gonna be fired this week and I'll wait to get it done next week. And then for the rest of my stuff, I have like all my underglazes here and then I got a bunch of these coasters that I made with like my little signature. Very fun cup coasters. I'm really into snails right now, so I feel like this would be really cute. And then I have these like bunny trinket trays I made with a bunch of little pins. I'm going with a pretty cute floral theme and everything's going pretty well. Angel snails. <laughs> I think I'm gonna continue making snails because they just make me so happy. These are angels. I'm gonna make some devil snails and some cloud snails. They're just so cute. And then this could be used as like a chopstick holder or like a paintbrush holder. <sighs> Yeah, I just want to get to a lot more creating and painting today because I am tired of admin work so I really need a day of just like drawing. <laughs> focusing uh but this is only what i have so far i do like the colors that i've been using i think i'm just gonna like take a break from this for now there's just like a lot to glaze and with under glaze i need to use like multiple layers for it to really show through after the firing i'm firing at cone 10 which means i think it's like a higher heat and it means that the colors will burn off more easily and it'll darken quite a bit so it's gonna look very different from this uh but yeah besides that i feel like i haven't been able to like super focus so i'm just gonna take myself out for some food and just enjoy my day before the sun sets but besides that i'm kind of just like noticing how like drained i am already i think i just like really need to get out of the house and so i'm gonna do just that <laughs> favorite angle in my room but it's always backlit so I don't know what to do about that. I forgot to talk about Rainy this vlog. <laughs> so I got Paloma's plush in recently, the Yeehaw Strawberry. It's so cute and also so big. I love how like big their eyes are because like anywhere in the room I could kind of just see them just like staring like straight into my soul. 
anyways, Rainy got funded and we reached 248 by the end of the campaign. So yay! Thank you so much for everyone for, um, you know, supporting the campaign and really making this a reality, a rainy-ality. <laughs> now they are buddies and I love doing this. <laughs> Yeehaw! <laughs> also wearing it myself. I'm really grateful for Makeship for working with me and making this happen. I'm so excited to see all the Rainies in everyone's houses. Oh, I'm gonna do even more with Rainy, I think. I'm just like very bunny ghost inspired right now. <laughs> and speaking of which, I'm gonna make like a Rainy fan art just as like a congratulatory post. My girlfriend helped me out with a little soundtrack for the thing and it's gonna be really cute. And I'm gonna do more pixel art because I'm really feeling it these days with pixel art. I'm gonna try and integrate even more of that to my art somehow. I actually separated it into different parts and used like Procreate to do the animation part. So it's just a still image and then I animated the petals as you can see if I just like scroll through that. And added some really sweet music from Maddie, my girlfriend. I'm really grateful for her to help me out on this little project. And then all together it looks like this. I'm saying when I get used to it, mm -hmm. I'm just gonna continue to be lazy. Doesn't matter what time it is. My toxic trait is that I have a whole folder on TikTok called That Girl and it's just everyone else's like morning routines to try to help me motivate me to like wake up and get my day started. It's precious because you can't watch it again. It's like Inception. sure how to style my hair but I feel like over time I'm gonna like buy some hair product and just kind of mess around with it from time to time so I couldn't really film as much but it was a pretty good day I'm feeling the effects of caffeine more and more every day as it settles into my body but this is the new hair um I kind of 
surprise myself even. I knew I was wanting to like go into it with like a very different cut uh, since my hair went up to like here and I was kind of just like fuck it let's just let's just go at least shoulder length but I didn't realize with like how thin my hair was it would look like pretty short with the layers and all and uh you know this just makes me feel really good I haven't had short hair in many years and I don't know I'm really embracing it I have like a few little tiny pigtails right here I'm just really happy about it I'm definitely gonna miss my long hair I feel like there were like elements of having like super long hair that I really loved but I'm fully embracing this and seeing how things feel going forwards I already want to go shorter but that's you know that's for another time joining me on the couch. instant meal from the grocery store. I have no idea what it is because the Chinese is so bad, but this is so confusing. What is all this? I think I'm just gonna open everything and then put it in the thing and then put boiling water in it. I think it was wrong. Whoa. It's gonna be So we've got at least three different types of sauces. It's 
been a little bit since I was doing that whole week of waking up at 6 a.m. Obviously over time, it was harder and harder for me to wake up consistently at six on the dot, especially since there were two nights where I was out and about. Um, so I got to bed around like maybe two and 3 a.m. on those nights. But that's kind of just like, you know, the nature of life where things get in the way or just life gets in the way. And I feel like that's not necessarily a bad thing. It was really interesting to have more structure in my day so that I could like plan out my days better and also just kind of enjoy the morning light and the morning, the morningness of morning more. Um, like for example, it's summertime so it feels a lot better weather-wise. It's nice and cool. It's nice to just wake up with the sun and see the sun travel throughout the day. Overall, I would say I am a little bit more disciplined than before and I feel more inspired to be able to like have a structure that works for me. I think 6 a.m. is definitely a little too early for me. Uh, I think my ideal might be like 7 or 8. But I think what really stuck with me throughout this week was that it didn't really matter like exactly what time you wake up as long as I had sort of a morning routine to like really get me started for the day it really helped motivate me and like keep me on track for the rest of the day so I, I feel like there should definitely be some like wiggle room and like area to just expand freely but I'm pretty happy to try some of this like once in a while because it's just nice to like switch up life <laughs> and if you're like a morning person or like interested in starting more of a earlier routine like let me know how it goes i like i'm just pretty curious about how it works for other people and that's about it for now it's been pretty chaotic um i feel like that's just every week for me these days but i'll see you in the next video bye